and welcome to Live Lent, God's Story, a series of stories, prayers and meditations for the evenings of Lent. Today is Ash Wednesday and this evening our theme is Beautiful Beautiful Feet. Our opening music was Lent Prose by Alexander Prattley. Draw us, Lord, to yourself by the power of your Spirit. Quieten our hearts and minds as we approach in worship. Hold us in the love of your Son as we follow him through temptation to the cross. Journey with us, Lord. Tonight we seek your face and forsake our empty hours. Tonight we seek you above all things. Cleanse us, Lord, from all that distorts your image in us. In your mercy, forgive us. From all that divides us from one another and from you. In your mercy, forgive us. For our satisfaction with less than the truth. In your mercy, forgive us. For any dishonesty in thought and action. In your mercy, forgive us. For worship that is unworthy of you. In your mercy, forgive us. May the Lord forgive us and grant us peace in our hearts and lead us by the Spirit this night and always. Amen. We come now to our reading and reflection on the theme, Beautiful Feet. Everyone who calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. But how are they to call on one in whom they have not believed? And how are they to believe in one of whom they have never heard? And how are they to hear without someone to proclaim him? And how are they to proclaim him unless they are sent? As it is written, how beautiful are the feet of those who bring good news. Words from St Paul's letter to the Romans, chapter 10. Thanks be to God. Not many of us think about our feet as our loveliest feature. Leaders of local churches that include foot washing in their Maundy Thursday services know how difficult it can be to find volunteers. Those who do agree to have their feet washed have probably given their feet a pretty good wash before they came out. Yet Paul, quoting Isaiah, says that feet can be beautiful because of the news they bring. If you have ever waited for someone to come and tell you that the baby has been born safely, or the test result came back clear, or that you got the job you longed for, you probably have a sense of what he means. Today, Ash Wednesday, We begin a journey of discovery, a journey which takes us deep into good news for ourselves and those around us. Our prayer is that by the end of the journey, we too might have beautiful feet. Amen. We now join together in praying the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive them that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation 
but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Thank you, God, for the people who have brought good news to us, especially those who have helped us to understand the good news of your love. Please bless them all this night. Amen. At this evening hour, may the Christ who walked on wounded feet walk with us on the road. At this evening hour, may the Christ who serves with wounded hands stretch out our hands to serve. At this evening hour, may the Christ who loves with a wounded heart open our hearts to love. Amen. May the Lord hold you in his loving arms. May he grant you restful sleep and peace in your hearts. May he bless you and keep you safe this night and forevermore. Amen. Amen. Amen.